Ni mai dong ama atong marotarang. Welcome to Atong Spelling Lesson 9, the appropriate form of meaningful parts, part 2. In this lesson, we will learn about what can happen when two vowels of different meaningful parts in a word meet. Remember that Atong has six vowels, namely A, E, I, O, U, and E. All the other sounds are consonants. Here we see a sentence. Let's read it. Matsana makbulna mungmana pai chaimu. Bildang bildang jalna bachingu. Now focus on the spelling of the word pai chaimu. You can see that it is written with two letters a next to each other. Why is that? Well, we can find out by asking what are the meaningful parts in this word. Can you find them? Try it first. Katami cha del ma del nogabado pai. Uchie pan sok ma sok nogabado mang tamganang. Mang sagabado cha. Mang nigabado ai. Mang tamgado mung. Atakai mu spelling chie letter a goi ni pak tang tang sang. Letter a goi sagabado pan sok cha mung laskaba letter ian. Aro letter a goi nigabado. Pansok ai mung da kangaba letran. When two of the same vowels meet in a word, three different pronunciations are possible. The first one is with a long vowel, in this case a long a, by chai mung. The second pronunciation is with a short a, by chai mung. And the third one is with a raka in between the two vowels, in this case, by Chaimung. The spelling follows the analysis and shows exactly what meaningful parts the word has. Therefore, there are two letters A, one from the meaningful part Cha and the other from the meaningful part Ai. So even though there are three different pronunciations possible, the spelling shows all the meaningful parts in their appropriate forms. What are the appropriate forms, you may ask? Are the different pronunciations a property of the meaningful parts? In that case, we would expect the different pronunciations to be always possible. We can test this by changing the meaningful parts in the word with a replacement test. Test 1. We can replace the pansok ai and mung by a new pansok, namely wa. We now get the word by chawa. Only one pronunciation is possible, pai cha wa, and not pai cha wa or pai cha wa. The appropriate forms of the pansok are cha and wa. Test 2. We can replace cha by tau. We now get the word pai tawai mung. Only one pronunciation is possible, namely pai tawai mung, and not pai tawai mung or by tawai mung. The appropriate forms are tau and ai. So what is the outcome of our replacement test? We only have a choice between three different pronunciations when two vowels of different meaningful parts meet. When two vowels do not meet, only one pronunciation is possible. The spelling shows the meaningful parts in their appropriate forms, which you can find by replacing the meaningful parts so that two vowels do not meet. In other words, the spelling follows the analysis of the word. Pai Chai Mung has three meaningful parts and they are all written in their appropriate forms. Now let's do an exercise to see if you can put theory into practice. Please get a pen or pencil and a piece of paper ready. Exercise. Choose the correct word. You will see sentences with an empty line in them. Under the sentence, you will see two words, which you can use to fill the empty line. Only one of these words is correct. Choose the correct word and put it on the empty line. For example, Ningdo Walchisa Nokchina blank line. And then under the sentence you see two words. Choose one of them to put on the empty line. 
The correct form is of course petak. Ningdo walchisa nokchina petak. You get 10 seconds for each sentence and 6 seconds to look at the solutions. So pause the video when necessary. There will be 9 sentences in this exercise. Are you ready? Here we go. Sentence 1. Solution Sentence 2 Solution Sentence 3 Solution Sentence 4 Solution Sentence 5 Solution Sentence 6 Solution Sentence 7 Solution Sentence 8 Solution Sentence 9 Solution Exercise Jammo So, to repeat, when one meaningful part ends with a vowel and the next meaningful part starts with the same vowel, then two of the same vowels are written directly next to each other. For example, in the word petak, as in the sentence De teng walchi ha basang mi petak. There are three possible and correct ways to pronounce two vowels side by side. One possibility is that the two vowels are pronounced as a short vowel. The second possibility is that the two vowels are pronounced together as a long vowel, as in And the third pronunciation possible is that the two vowels are pronounced with a raka in between them, as in because we want to write all the meaningful parts in their appropriate forms, the spelling follows the analysis of the word. What are the meaningful parts? We see the dl, pet, and the sok, a, and ak. We can do a replacement test to check this. We can replace the sok, a, by its opposite, ang, and then the sok, ak, has to change to ok. So we find that pet, a and ak are indeed the meaningful parts of the word petak. Because of the difference between the pronunciation and the spelling, we need another spelling rule. The fourth spelling rule is this. When one meaningful part ends with a vowel and the next one starts with the same vowel, then two of the same vowels are written directly next to each other, as in the sentence Jeyen san chi ama an rayak no okno. We can analyze the words in this sentence like this, with the dull in gold color and the sok in green color. Of course, when the rakka is part of the meaningful part, it is always written and in those cases the two vowels do not actually meet. For example, in the word sa'ak, as in the sentence jeyen san chi ama an mai sa'ak no okno. 
In the analysis, we can see that the raka is part of the ta'dil of the word sa'aq. In the next lesson, we will focus on something that we have already seen many times, but we have not yet talked about, namely that some meaningful parts have more than one form. Like button she sick the bow. Well, Nam.